Today we are going to talk about Encounter Data and its role in the Medicaid managed care system. So health centers know how important it is to keep accurate records of patients' health conditions, treatments, and prescriptions. EHRs help to record and share data. They identify high priority and high need patients, and they can coordinate treatment and services among staff. The stored data in EHRs ultimately helps health centers to know are they treating patients well, how they're performing as a clinic, and where they might improve the care that they provide. The data that's captured by EHRs is the primary source of information for claims and encounter data. So what is encounter data? Ultimately, it is the pieces of information that a provider communicates to a Medi-Cal managed care organization to show that a healthcare service was delivered. It's similar to paid claims records that a state Medicaid agency might create when they pay a provider directly on a fee-for-service basis. Both claims and encounter data provide payers with information showing what services were rendered and why. Encounter data is particularly important when the provider is capitated for primary care services and does not have to submit claims for individual services. Because many health centers are capitated for primary care, encounter data is the critical way that these capitated providers communicate to payers, meaning both IPAs, health plans, and ultimately the state and federal government, what services they provide to patients and some information about the complexity of the services delivered. So why is encounter data important? There's basically four big reasons. First, it helps providers and payers to create an accurate, shared understanding of the quality of care provided, including any gaps in care. Second, it's used by plans to evaluate provider performance. Encounter data, for instance, is used to calculate quality measures such as HEDIS scores. Sometimes these HEDIS measures or quality measures are used to pay providers in value-based payments, such as pay for performance. Third, the Department of Healthcare Services, or the state, ultimately uses encounter data to set health plan rates and to judge health plan performance. So plans care about quality measures very much because they care that the, their members are getting good quality services, but they also care that the measurement is accurate because the state uses this data to assign Medi-Cal members to specific plans based on how they perform on quality measures. And the state uses encounter data ultimately to set future capitation rates for both plans and sometimes capitated providers. Finally, if encounter data is missing or inaccurate, future capitation rates for plans and value-based payments might be lower than they ought to be. The fourth step is that encounter data is a critical building block for California to communicate to the federal government about the quality of the Medi-Cal program. Encounter data is the key unit of information in a data sharing process. After providers deliver care to patients, billing departments or third-party contractors bill claims to health plans or the state to be reimbursed. If the health center is capitated, the billing department still submits encounter data. The encounter data submission process is the main data sharing process where health plans get information about their members and the care that they received. Encounter data includes both a CPT code, which communicates what type of service was delivered, and diagnosis codes, which communicate the reason for the service or services. There are two important ways in which health plans use encounter data. One, both CPT codes and diagnosis codes can be used to determine which members need more care coordination and which members might need additional care. For instance, a health plan might run a gap in care report to identify all children who still need to receive their two-year-old immunizations. Or they might run a report to identify members with multiple chronic conditions who could benefit from additional care management and coordination. Value-based payments, such as pay for performance, form increasingly larger parts of health center budgets. 
and allow health centers to be more creative and flexible in the way that they deliver care to patients and support their own internal staff. The state is also a part of the data sharing process. Plans report and counter data that they receive from providers on a monthly basis to DHCS. DHCS uses this data in two important ways. First, the state uses encounter data to help decide how much plans will be paid in the next year. If encounter data is underreported at the health center level, the state believes that the health plan does not need as much money going forward. This can lead to the state lowering the rates paid to Medi-Cal plans. Lower rates mean health plans have less money, including less money available to reward a health center in pay for performance. Second, DHCS uses encounter data to judge health plan performance on quality, which the state uses in a couple of ways. One, the state makes membership assignment decisions based on plans quality performance. And two, the state also withholds a portion of plan payments and only pays plans if they perform at a certain level of quality. To complete the chain, DHCS shares the state encounter data with the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, for review and evaluation of the Medi-Cal program as a whole. Just like DHCS reviews the quality of the services provided by the plans, CMS also uses encounter data to judge accountability, both that services are being rendered and the quality of care in California's Medi-Cal program. For all these reasons, it is vital that health centers report accurate complete and timely encounter data. Providers should be capturing all services, procedures, treatments, and health conditions of their patients so that health plans, the state and ultimately the federal government, are able to get an accurate and complete picture of the care provided to Medi-Cal members. So how can health centers improve encounter data? There's a variety of strategies that can improve encounter data accuracy, completeness, and timeliness. The first and most essential is that health centers properly onboard and train providers and staff about how the encounter data pulls from the EHR and its importance to the healthcare system as a whole. While providers might be very familiar with EHR data, the health center must train providers on the state and plan expectations for encounter data, as well as the health center expectations and rules for producing it. Training should distinguish between data that is important for reporting to the Uniform Data System, or UDS, which is part of the Bureau of Primary Health Care's health center program, and encounter data, which is the critical element in the managed care system. Another key strategy to improve encounter data reporting is the optimization of EHRs and other processes where providers can automatically upload codes to the EHR and into the billing process. Lastly, it's important to coordinate with all contracted managed care organizations, including IPAs and Medi-Cal health plans, to ensure that all the data sent is accurately captured. A couple of simple strategies to start with include compare HEDIS scores or gaps in care reports that are generated by the health plan with information that's generated from health center EHRs. Comparing these reports and the data sets that feed them can reveal where specific codes might be lost in the reporting, claim billing, or encounter data submission processes. So in conclusion, Encounter data is the means by which all involved entities in the Medi-Cal system are able to get on the same page about the needs and services of patients. Providers need to prioritize encounter data reporting to ensure that everyone has the most accurate picture of the program as possible. Accurate encounter data also helps health centers maximize their pay for performance earnings. At the end of the day, Better encounter data is essential for communicating and sustaining the excellent work that health centers do.